So, <laughs> check this out. Am I the asshole for ruining my niece's birth over a name? I, 29 female, was pregnant with twins a few years ago. Unfortunately, only one baby survived, a little boy who we called Henry, and my daughter who passed, we called her Daphne. My sister and I were close growing up, but we drifted apart. There was a rivalry on her part after I met my partner. For example, she hated that we got engaged before her. She has been with her partner for three plus more years, and she threw a fit saying she wouldn't attend our wedding unless she was engaged too. So they got engaged and threw an engagement party the night before my wedding. When I announced my pregnancy, she wasn't happy, as I'd done another thing before her, but when my daughter died, she seemed to be a lot nicer. Because of this change, we made her Henry's godparent. She became pregnant recently and refused to announce the name until a few days after birth. The baby girl was called Theodora, which is beautiful. I was bringing presents to her and I saw my dad building a huge toy box with the name Daphne on it. When I questioned this, I was told the baby is going to be called Daphne and only Theodora on paper. No one will use her full name, only her nickname. All of my family knew and supported her. I got upset and started shouting, asking if this was a cruel prank. She came out and told me to F off. I don't own a name and she liked it since my baby's funeral. My family are on her side and say, why do I care? My baby is not here, so there is no confusion and don't see why I caused the scene and ruined her happy time and why can't I be happy for her? They're saying I'm being petty and cruel. They want me to apologize, but I don't want to. So am I the asshole for getting upset over choosing my dead baby's name? Am I the asshole? Oh, snap. They gonna have to square up. That's how you settle family disputes now? I mean, I ain't say kill them. I just said they got square up. At some point in time, bro. Like, they should have fought, though, when they were siblings. Were they twins? I don't think it said that. Holy. It sound like they've been fighting since the womb. I'm serious. Against everything. How? That's crazy. Like, I have a lot of questions. That's crazy. To be in competition with your sibling throughout. It's like that, though. A uh, major part of your life. See, I'm not too. But who, like, I'm going to name my daughter Theodora, but I'm going to call her Daphne. What, why? Where is that? <laughs> How is Daphne a nickname for Theodora? <laughs> oh, you're looking at comments? <laughs> Oh, exactly. I mean, people are saying that. I'm, 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 <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at and this exactly, situation. Exactly, like who baby shops for? You know what? That baby's funeral I was just at. They had a nice name. Like yeah, that's like, wrong. Like ah. So I mean, I get which it. brings me back. At this point, y'all got to square up. What? You got to square up with your sibling. That's the only way y'all gonna get to the bottom of it. Either square up or is that. Or it's just like a like a mother or a parent, like an older respected. They ain't stepping in all these years. Apparently, they she said her whole family knew and was okay with it, which is why I don't understand that. That's the thing too. How is the how is she the last one to and know? And I get, you know, there's a lot of Daphne's out there, so it's not like okay. Yeah, Daphne name. was definitely a common name growing up. That was definitely a, you know, so, it was like Alexis or Portia. It was one of them names, like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't so know. So it's kind of weird, but I'm just like, because it's so close, it's like, that's extra weird. I know I would. Like, I would think that's really weird. That's kind of. How would you feel, though? White female, would you resent? Stalkerish type of next yeah, level stuff. Single white female. Remember that movie? Yeah. That was crazy, bro. She yeah. cut her hair like her and everything. Yeah, man. which is why I'm like, mm, this is kind of like unhealthy was, at, a point. at what point is it unhealthy and someone should be like listen y'all are competing against everything and it makes no sense even to say I'm not going to the wedding unless I'm engaged yeah, like man. that dude so do you, do you bring your your dude around your sister if she's that jealous you think she would do some single white female type stuff on her this seems like it's deep. They need therapy. <laughs> and if she does that, is it now time to square up? Bruh. When uh, is it time to square up? How many more examples do you need? You want to try and stop it before it gets to that point. Okay. It's like now, you know how you, you okay, you're trying to stop the leak with one hand and then you put another hand up there and then you try to stick a leg up there to stop the leak. At what point in time? Okay, so that what is, is fighting? What is squaring up? What is the fighting? What does that do? 
it, it, it gets it off your chest. Y'all can square it. Most of the time, once you fight it out, it's over with. You feel so much better. No? I don't think that's going to fix her. That seems to be unfixable. So what did they do? Not speak to each other again? They're sisters, right? What is what are the people saying? See, that's gonna lead that's gonna lead into a whole nother conversation. I because would have fought my sister. Boom! This is cruel. I, I, I'm just saying. The whole family is toxic. It is, man. Like, it's it's been silent jabs. You know what I mean? Little subtle jabs they've been going, doing back and forth for all she's been doing back and forth for all these years. At some point in time, it's gonna happen. Oh, this is your comment. I would be livid. Yes, it's just a name. There are, there are tons, tons of, of Daphne's in the world, but there was a that was a very deliberate move out of spite. That's oh, the issue. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Daphne is and not a sister. Uh, like everybody. Mm, Daphne is not a nickname, or I would no longer have a family. Blood, that whole blood is thicker than water. I'm just, it just baffles me. Like when I met a funeral, I don't. You're grieving. Yes, I'm not, not sitting there like oh. Not sitting here like. Uh, Did you see that name, Daphne? I, oh my gosh! So, so just keep keep the keep the just little tuck the obituary. The obituary, take gonna, it out with us. We're gonna take we're gonna it with us, spell so we can make just sure a little bit different. I bet she spelled it the same. I bet she spelled it the same. Yeah, my see? thing is, just see? like everybody else is saying, like, where does Theodora <laughs> on paper? I can see you now calling her Titi. Dora the Explorer. So, let me ask you. At this point, do you, do you disown your family? What do you do? Ooh. Do you disown your family? <sighs> Yikes. What do you do? That's toxic. The relationship is toxic. I don't think I'm a good person to ask you about that. Cause Why? Because you know, I didn't know this video was going to go like that. <laughs> And, you know, I have no problem, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once it gets to a certain point, I remove myself and no. I don't put so much distance. Keep it, keep it 1,000. Your queen cut off. Yes, I am. <laughs> queen will cut you off and not think twice toxic, about it. toxic, I just don't have the energy for it. I don't have the energy for it. I don't want the vibe. I don't even want it near me. No, because uh -uh, uh -uh. you suck it up my off. energy. She will put you on the block list. She will put you on do not disturb. She will put all of that. She uses, she utilizes all the features of her phone. All the features that nobody else uses. She uses why. all those Everybody features. Everybody should use them features. They was on there for a reason. <laughs> Apple took the time and created different functions. For you. So I can say for you. Network, for you. Like sleep. Like, no, this is some good stuff right here. Sleep, driving, personal. I could even do a meditation one. So I'm just saying, like, utilize the things on your phone, bro. Even Samsung, because I got two phones. My Samsung would do it too. It goes on automatically feel like, disturbed. Do you feel like it's disrespect to the to the baby as well as the family too? I don't uh, But see, this is why it's it's a, a, a such a touchy thing, right? Because now, if this was on a good note, and she came to her, she's like, "I want to name my daughter in honor of my niece that I lost." That's right. a whole so, different approach, so and the, that name would be so fine. So it's the way you package it. It's the way you it's present it. It's the fact it. that it's the way that you present it, and the fact that yo, the you wouldn't come to the wedding before then. The, the, Okay, when I'm supposed to be having a rehearsal dinner, you having an engagement party, so it's just like a whole co like tug of war on attention or something, you know. And the fact that the family just allows the other one just to get away with it, sibling rivalry. This is the but although this seems foreign, I think this is a lot common though. This is real common sibling rivalry. Yes. One sibling grows up being jealous of another sibling that may receive more attention from the parents or 
whomever. And, and sometimes that attention isn't even really valid. It's just in, in their, their minds mind. what they believe, and they just look like, okay, they want the attention, this, that, and the third. So, you're, yeah. Toxic people like that, you got to stay away from, even if it's your family member. That's what I was getting to. You got to stay away from that person. You but got see, to. See, but then, not to play devil's advocate, you a big family person. I am. And you do not. See, you how you talking all this big stuff? You do not. Uh-uh. I do not what? You want to go there? Who? Exactly. 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 So let's, let's not even go there then. Go you where? Know, it's certain let's things. Go. It's certain, I want to stick my toe in the water. Let's go. It's certain things. Everybody has their limits, right? Everybody has their limits. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm a little bit more lenient, but it's certain lines with me you don't cross. It's certain lines with me you don't cross, and you take me there. It's hard to get me there, but once you get me there, yeah, it's a bad place. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with that. It's a bad place to be in with me. I agree with that. And at that point, I have to cut you off or remove myself from it. Or it's, it's total destruction at that point. It's total destruction at that point for me. I don't know. What you guys think? Like. I feel like. Is it fixable? I feel like. Do I know. just cut the ties and just be like, all right. Psh, I feel I'm like out. they say blood is thicker than water, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's not. And just because they have, everybody ain't your family. Just because they have the same last name or that I was born into the same, that. I don't still don't mean they family. Okay, now with that being said, do you believe people can change? Absolutely, I believe people can change. Okay, so but once a person shows you who they are, nine times out of ten, that's who they are. But I'm not gonna root. That's why I say nine times out of ten because there's one chance of, which is very few, that people can actually or will actually eventually change. But they gotta want to change. They gotta go through whatever they go right. through. With, within their life that causes them to change. You can't change it for them. You can't force them to change. They got to want to do it and choose to do it themselves. Absolutely. So, yeah. But normally when a person shows you who they are, that's usually it. That's usually it. And me, I'm a person that gives. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just cutting you off on your first offense. You had to have done something consistently to me. For me to say, all right, bro, at this point in time, we we I can't even rock with you at this point in time, bro. Even if it's family. Even if it's family. Even if it's family. Because at one point in time, do you protect your... What point in time does she protect her peace? Yeah, she has to protect her peace. At and what point in time? She has to protect her other child. How many, more, how many more incidents has to happen? And her marriage. Because, you know, it's a right head space. So and I exactly, get that. Exactly. Because what will it start doing? Spilling over into your marriage. Yes. It'll spill it, into it'll, your it'll marriage. It'll spill into other areas. Even, you know, how you are with your child or if you have another child. It's like, yeah. It then y'all have arguments and you know it's stemming from outside sources. Right. That's never this good. This is trauma from with your family. Da, 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 da. You know, so yeah, I, I, I can totally identify and agree with that. But, like, I will cut you off, but I'm still like, you know, I will cut you off. But if you really need me, like, if something happened, okay, they in the hospital. Da, da. You worse than I am with the cutoffs. You, you worse than I am with the cutoffs. Okay, video over. Hey, you worse than I am with the cutoffs, bro. You have, like, a... Oof. I think I have a. You three dangle strike. somebody over a ledge and cut them off. Me, I still, they still got a little bit of platform up, and you dangle them over a ledge and you cut them off, and no. it's free fall to the death after that with you. Me, they'll survive. You know? I don't think that's. I don't think that's valid. I, I want to <laughs> argue that. I want to argue that. I object. It's valid. I object. That's cool. You can object. The heck? Overruled. The heck? Overruled. Like, nah, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> you tripping. I don't think I'm that bad. You don't think you're that bad? Mm -mm. You see, see, I see you going through your head right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm you trying to find my receipts. You can't, you can't. No, 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 not to prove my point. I'm trying to prove, like, go through my receipts. That, okay, you may be trying to, like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Not at all. Like, I think, um, 
Yeah, yeah. look around the room. Mm-hmm. Kind of parched, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hot in here. Yeah, I bet it is. Listen, we gonna y'all get at us in the comment section. And uh, how would y'all have reacted to this? I know a lot of y'all wouldn't have waited. Y'all. I mean, looking at the comments, I'm going to guess that you guys are going to say just about the same. <laughs> but my thing is, don't just say how you would respond. I want to know, like, how hey. would you act? What's the role after it? Do you just cut them off and you, it's just you dead? Or Family is supposed to be everything, but, bro, some people just... I agree with they that. Just, they just don't. And at some point in time, you got to... You gotta just let it go. It has to be somebody in the family that stands up and be like, "Okay, this, this, this is too much. No, this isn't right." And it, like, sit down and say something. But when and you I'm keep, big mamas. I know. And I'm a big mamas. That's my big mama. And I'm a big mamas. Mm-mm. I know. Who's the peacemaker in the families now? Who's the peacemaker in the family now? Who's the person that says, "All right, cut it out." Go to your respective has to, corners. Somebody has to be the, the, like, the mediator. The one Who's the mediator? The Do you have yeah. one in your family? We don't have those nowadays. Mm-hmm. Who's the mediator in the families? Mine was my grandma. My grandma. Who's gone. it in my family? That's my grandma. Can you think of somebody? Who would squash things? Who's the mediator? Yeah. Mommy. She's not here no more. Because mommy wouldn't care how you felt or the other one felt. Nope. She going to say what she got to and say. My grandmother, and squash that. my grandmother has a no tolerance policy. Yeah. She ain't squashing nothing. She going to tell you what it is, and that's what it is, and she don't care. And if you want to keep carrying on, acting like that, and going about your business, then. So <laughs> who are the mediators in the family these days? There are some. I call those angels. There are some angels that can, like, really deal with it they have the patience and the you know and it can extinguish different things yeah i've been told i have the patience and i extinguish a lot of things professionally <laughs> oh excuse me I'm allergic you to, know what i'm allergic to blood. oh should be allergic to somebody's dust that's what you're allergic to uh, God, stop in here uh, yeah but go on with you what you were saying whatever i have you just, you just you flared up my allergies. Whatever. You, you I have resolved a lot of customer issues um, and different issues with people. That diffused was, that it. That was tied to a check. That was tied to a check. Well. That was in your job description. No, it wasn't. That wasn't? Customer service that wasn't in your job description? Uh, resolving customer service for somebody else's problems? Heck no. Nah, that is not in my job description. That's out of the goodness of my heart. And if you catch me on the right day, I will help you. But if See, not, I will not. She's starting not. to show herself. See? <laughs> she's starting to show herself. See, you just give a person a little bit of rope. They're hanging themselves. See that? Did you see that? I'm out. Did you see that? Did you see that? 